Good morning. This is July 15th and Friday morning and the sun is out and we are getting a little warmer today. It's going to be 80 degree to 90 degree. That's what they are predicting. This is a summer day, right? But anyway, some of you might already know there was an attack in Nice, France and 84 people were killed and the dozens are wounded and no one has claimed the responsibility for the attack. And this was a terrorist attack that what the French government says and the Nice attack has been named as uh, Muhammad Lalji Bautel. He's a 31-year-old man married with uh, three children from Tunisia with a French visa and he lives with us locally in that place uh, near the uh, beach uh, resort area. And a French president uh, speaking right now and he says the border security will be boosted, a state of emergency will be extended to three months. So the life is unpredictable. One minute you are sipping an ice cold drink, walking on a road at the beach with your family and watching this fantastic fireworks on this Bastille Day. And the next minute, a huge truck comes out of nowhere and hits you. You are knocked down, your limbs broken, everything ruined. And you know that many people did, but you are still alive and you are not sure what's going on there. To put it bluntly, life can be the absolute worst. So making it through hard times seems to be easy for some people. But for some people it is completely unbearable. Why? How do they continue to be faithful to God without a question? Are they born with the ability to uh, go with all that or their trials are not as devastating. What is their secret? So I did the research and I found out and a chackal ward leg and she says what we tend to forget during our journey on the earth is that no one ever finds true joy without first experiencing pain. Through the adversity they gain the endurance and a wisdom and a faith to help them face all other obstacles that come their way. So in their times of a weakness, they found true strength. So how can you and me find the strength to overcome in our trials? So follow these principles in your life. Move forward, serve others, be grateful, set goals, hold on to hope. When it comes to conquering adversity, there is nothing more necessary than holding on to hope and a faith in good things to come. So, kick adversity to the curb. With that, I will pray for every one of us and I am also praying my heart goes to the victims of families and the people who were killed in that uh, Nice attack. And let us pray for every one of us. Uh, hope the world will be in a peaceful soon.